So we approach the end of the Easter octave. This Sunday is the octave day of Easter, and it's the celebration of the Feast of Divine Mercy. At Mass on Sunday, we're going to hear read for us the account of the apostles hidden in the upper room and that apparition on Easter Sunday evening of Jesus to the apostles. I think we can safely say that this is the first example in the history of the church of isolation. The apostles gather together for fear of persecution and Jesus enters their midst and says, peace be with you. And he confers on them that great gift of forgiveness, reconciliation, the power of divine mercy. This feast of divine mercy was given to us by Saint Pope John Paul II, and the person who gave us this devotion was Saint Faustina Kowalska. She was canonized by John Paul II in the year 2000. And part of this devotion, an essential part of this devotion, is the love of the heart of Jesus. And in this image that Saint Faustina had painted, it hangs in our church here by Our Lady's altar normally, it depicts those graces flowing from our Lord's heart, those graces of reconciliation and mercy. And it's to that heart that we come especially on this Feast of Divine Mercy each year. Tomorrow in the afternoon, this second Sunday of Easter, we'll have the devotions here in the church. There'll be the praying of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. There'll be the blessing with the relic of Saint Faustina, which we have in this parish and the benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. And I will be ever so conscious personally that when I make that act of trust to our Lord, when I say those words, Jesus, I trust in you, I will be doing it on behalf of the whole parish. So let's go to the heart of Jesus again at this time with great trust, with great confidence, listening to those words of our Lord in the gospel this Sunday. Peace be with you. Those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Those whose sins you retain, they are retained. And let us see very often with great fervour and great piety at this time, those words, Jesus, I trust in you. And we know that Jesus is ever so with us, consoling us and helping us get through this time of isolation together. So God bless you and keep you all well and safe.